What's going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to host the WebKit exploit for 5.05 locally uh, over your local area network so that you do not have to rely on these external websites to host it for you because you know what if they go down, um, what if your internet goes down and you don't have access to the internet then you're not going to have access to any of these. Plus when you host the WebKit exploit locally you're able to add your own payloads, uh, just like these buttons in here, which have you know FTP and HEN, all this kind of stuff. You can basically add your own buttons uh, and your own payloads in here. So if you're somebody who like loves all the GTA menus, then you could add them as buttons into this WebKit, so you'll be able to easily access them. So let's go ahead and do it. So first thing you need to do is head on over to the computer and download the PS4 exploit host. Um, this version, um, make sure it is the version in the linked in the description because this version has uh, support for 5.05 already. So it's already got the blocker payload, dumper payload, FTP and Mira plus Hen. So it's got the homebrew enabler and Mira. So it's not bad, it's got a few payloads but nowhere near as much as the ones that are being um, hosted right now. So if you want to add your own payloads in here, you're going to need bin to HTML and a payload that you want to convert so that you can host it. So I have React PS Plus, which basically allows you to play expired um, PS Plus games by resetting your system clock back to 2013. So in order to convert this .bin payload into um, a form where we're able to add it as a button in the WebKit so that we can go ahead and just load it from the WebKit, uh, what we need to do is first of all download Python, make sure you have Python version 3.6.5 installed. Um, it's possible you might need 2.7.15, I'm not sure. So, you know, maybe install both if, you know, one of them isn't working. And then what you want to do is open up um, bin to HTML and just copy this Python file into a, an empty folder. And then you want to copy your bin file that you want to convert also into the same folder. And then open up the folder, click on the URL bar, and then before the file path, you want to go ahead and type in cmd space and then press enter. And that will open up a command window in that location. Then what you want to do is basically type in the name of the Python file. So bin to html.py and then space, and then the name of the bin file that you want to convert, which is react psn, or ps plus, I mean, ps plus dot bin, and then press enter, and that will convert it into an HTML file right there. So now we can basically add this to our PS4 exploit host. So in the exploits folder in 5.05, we can create a new folder called the name of the payload, which is react PS plus so we can add this in and then what you want to do is take mo take all the files from another payload that's already in here so something like FTP and copy everything apart from the index.html and paste it into react PS plus or whatever you named your folder and then I'm going to copy the HTML file that we converted into this folder as well and that's it, we have it all set and we should be able to load this payload from within the WebKit now. So now all we have to do is get this up and running so that it's being hosted on our local network. So when I go ahead and run this program, we're gonna get an error here. There we go, so it says could not start server is another program on UDP 53. So if you get this message, then it's because you probably have internet connection sharing enabled. Uh, you have to disable it. So if you're using internet connection sharing to connect your PS4 to your network, you'll have to use Wi-Fi or something else on your PS4. So I'm gonna right click on my network connections and go to open network and internet settings, change adapter options, and I'm gonna disable uh, connection sharing by right clicking on my adapter, going to properties, sharing, and unchecking the box to allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Click OK and that should fix that error message. Obviously you don't need to do that if you're not having this error, only if you get the error UDP 53. And now when I open it, I'll get another error saying TCP 80. So if you get this error, then that's normally because there's some kind of background program that's using the same port. Typically Skype 
uh, which uses the same port. So if I quit Skype and try and run it again, as you can see, it works. Um, it might not be Skype that's causing that problem for you. So just close any other background applications you have running on your computer and then try again. And you'll know everything's working when you get DNS server running an HTTP server running and it gives you an IP address down here. This is the local IP address of your computer that is hosting um, the, the WebKit exploit. So now that that's running, uh, we should be able to access uh, this on our PS4. However, your antivirus might try and block it. So if that does happen and you're just getting a white screen uh, when you try and access your WebKit, then make sure you either disable the firewall temporarily on your antivirus or add an exception to the program in your antivirus, which would be the better thing to do. Um, so once you've done that, we're going to head back onto the PS4, run the internet browser and what you can do is just type in the IP address into the URL bar of your internet browser. So the same IP address that was in uh, the command window. Uh, so if we go ahead and run this, as you can see, it loads instantly. It's a lot more stable and a lot faster than, than using the website version of the exploit. So we go to 5.05 and there's our custom payload that we added along with all the other payloads that were already in here. So that's basically how, you know, a quick way to access it. But obviously, if you don't have access to the internet browser and you only have access to the user guide, then you can still do this. You just have to go to uh, reconfigure your network connection. So go to set up an internet connection, use Wi-Fi uh, or a LAN cable if you're using a LAN cable, do custom, and then go to automatic IP, do not specify DHCP, do a manual DNS, and you want to put in the IP address from the command window, so the local IP address of your computer that's hosting the exploit. You want to put that in as the primary DNS and then go to next, automatic MTU, do not specify proxy. And so now when you go to the user guide, it will take you to the exploit page that your computer is hosting. 5.05, there's our payloads and it is working. So if you don't have access to the internet browser, you can still access your WebKit exploit. So yeah, that's basically it. So let's go ahead and load um, the React PS plus, PS plus payload so I can show you that it works. There you go, done. So it has loaded. So yeah, that's basically it. That is how you host your own WebKit exploit and add your own custom payloads. Um, if you're looking, I know that a lot of people are looking for a completely offline solution. This solution, technically it is offline because you don't need an internet connection, but you still need to have a local network set up in your in your house you need to have a router and a ps4 and a computer um, some people are looking for you know a completely offline exploit so no network connection but still being able to access it i'll probably do a video on that soon i just need to order the little wi-fi adapter thing that you that you use for that so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and i will hopefully see you guys in the next one